Hi guys, Sharath here. So in the last video, we saw how to sync files with GitHub and your local repository. So we did use that method to host this website called Hyperspace. So if you see the link here, the URL, it points to the repository that we created. And in the website, we did see that in one of the pages, we had a form, right? So how to make this form work? Because if you know about static websites, they cannot do any executions in server side. So let's say you have a PHP file which makes this form work. But if you try it on a static website, it does not work because the PHP file you have used will not execute. Uh, so that is the problem with forms in static websites. This happens on web pages created on GitHub pages and blocks created using Jekyll and other static websites. But if you see this form, let's say I enter a name uh, called John, email maybe John, yeah, I have a John at two.com, okay, yeah, website, okay, if I send it, and if I come back to my, okay, it says form submitted successfully, if I come back to my inbox and refresh, uh, the mail just came now. So it says John, John Doe, make me a website. So I just got the form submitted uh, here in the website. So how did I make this work? I use something called fontspree.io. So all you have to do is just have to copy the, the code here and uh, make changes according to your requirement so that's all I did I'll, I'll create a new form and show you how to do it let's go back to our repository and maybe let's create a repository so I'm gonna create this one as form I'm gonna initialize it with with me and I will have a new file before that I need to have a gh pages branch Okay, I'm going to create a new file in that branch. I'll call it index.html and I'm going to commit it. So now I'm going to edit index.html and have the form inside it. So what I will have is a HTML tag. This is a basic backbone of a typical website body inside the body i'm just gonna have the form so i'm gonna copy the whole form and paste it here so forms pre suggests to use an email address in place of your at email.com to which the form details to be sent to so here i'm gonna make changes i'm gonna give my an email address that i'm using for this test um zero seven two five at yahoo.com and see if this works so i'm gonna commit the changes and see if this has been hosted already so go to the settings seems like it has hosted it here so this doesn't have many things here uh, it just has like two fields and there is nothing like email or name or anything because whatever the code we have entered it has nothing but uh, input fields uh, so let's check this out you know how it works um, maybe I can enter uh, something and here something so let's send it let's see oh it needs a email okay at something.com it is a typical email format okay I'm sending it so initially it asks to verify it so I should have received a mail saying i have to verify it let's go to the inbox yes so i'm gonna confirm it here okay now it says email confirmed i'm gonna close it and i'm gonna go to inbox and i'm gonna go back to the form and enter the same details again or any other detail if i want to it says form submitted successfully so if i go back to my mail 
and refresh the inbox I should have received a new mail with whatever the things I have submitted cool right uh, if you want to make any changes here uh, let's say uh, you want something you know in the in the form you want something like name and email in between uh, you can do that uh, maybe here it says name have a paragraph or maybe you can just type uh, that works name I will leave a little space uh, here it's I think it's email yes email and before that uh, we want it one below the other maybe I can add a break okay and submit I want to submit at the bottom so I will add a break here as well okay so that looks good so come to changes and come back to the page refresh okay yes now it looks more like a form um, let's enter something let's enter my name let's enter my name email um, info at net gadgets com and send hmm. form submitted successfully if I come back here I should have it in my inbox you see that so you can have any number of fields here uh, it just has name and email you can have message um, you can also have radio buttons or you know you can have check boxes you can also have attached files uh, they say that you know they work uh, but I haven't checked it yet now I will show you how I made this form work uh, so the key thing here is action action should be uh, in quotes double slash form spree dot io slash your email address and the method should be post so this is important and after the form submission you can send the users to a different page like a thank you page you have so you have to use something called next uh, I think they have it in the documentation somewhere yes so you can use this input method which is hidden um, to send them to some other site uh, which you have created and saying that your form has been submitted and thanks and you have many other options uh, check out if you need them and that's about creating a form with formspree.io so thanks for watching if you think the video was helpful hit thumbs up and subscribe to get the updates of my next videos until then bye bye